Okay then, guess it's my turn. Welcome back guys to another Dragon Ball Legends episode. It's been a very long time since I've made a video and I know guys, it's my bad, it's my bad. I've been really busy with life and I just didn't get a chance. But I am still here, I'm still busy with content and always going to be updating as we get closer to the anniversary. So yeah, as you can see on the screen currently, we got Ultra Kid Boo officially available in the game. If you guys are summoning, good luck with that. Uh, but this video is basically a Corono Crystal Guide for those that want to save Corono Crystals or for those that just are itching to find ways to get CC within the next month. So I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can get Corono Crystals, starting from the easiest to the most complex. And yeah, you guys can do what you want with that information. This will be the first Chrono Crystal guide just before the anniversary and I will have another guide like this within the next month just before the anniversary starts. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into that. Alright guys, I'm going to make this quite straightforward. Basically the first place to get Chrono Crystals right now would be PvP, which does reset on the 17th of May, which is practically a 3 week season. All you have to do is stay between the top 5% of PvP or the top 10,000. If you can stay within the top 10,000 of, of PvP, you can get 1,200 Chrono Crystals. If you are not able to do that, then the least you should aim for is 600 Chrono Crystals. But currently I'm going to leave it as 1,200. Then on top of that, if you can stay between the 4th to 10th place or 11th to 20th place, you can get another 200 Chrono Crystals. So you're looking at approximately 1,400 Chrono Crystals just from PvP. So basically, just try to stay within the top 10k if you can. If you can't, try to stay within the top 5% and get the 600 CC. But obviously, I'm going to leave it at 1,200 for majority of people and as well as the 200 from the group stage itself. So that is 1,400 Chrono Crystals off the bat. Then the next section would be the Tournament of Power. Tournament of Power did reset as well, which means that you are able to start again with the Tournament of Power. And if you guys want a proper guide, I do have a guide on how to play the Tournament of Power. You can always go and check those videos out. Now, dependent on your league will depend how much Chrono Crystals you get. Obviously, when you finish the Tournament of Power, you do get 300 Chrono Crystals if you are in Z League like me. And on top of that, once you've got your 300 Chrono Crystals, you are able to also get at the end of the Tournament of Power season another 1000 Chrono Crystals depending on the league where it ends. So basically, if you can stay between the top 5% or the top 25%, you can get 1000 Chrono Crystals plus the Battle Score 100. So that's 1100 Chrono Crystals plus the 300 Chrono Crystals for beating the Tournament of Power which gives you approximately 1,400 Chrono Crystals as well from the Tournament of Power. So that is PvP and Tournament of Power. Those two are basically the longest running uh, Chrono Crystal methods in the game. So if you look at that, every two to three weeks when it resets, you can approximate how much Chrono Crystals you are able to receive. So now that you have those two totals on the screen, let's move on to some other ways. Alright guys, another way of getting Chrono Crystals would be through the Ranging Battle. If you do the Raging Battle that's currently ongoing and you finish all of this, you can get another 1000 Chrono Crystals from this itself. A very easy to do, very simple to explain. We are also due a free to play unit that's coming out next week that will also give us Chrono Crystals. Then if you do the co-op as well, we are getting a new co-op in two days that will give you another 300 Chrono Crystals for completing the co-op. As well as if you get all of these Chrono Crystals here, it's another 303. So you're looking at about 606 Chrono Crystals from the co-op alone. And that will be next week. Then the Legends ranking is going to reset tomorrow. And that's another 300 Chrono Crystals that you can get from the Legends ranking as well. So as you can see, there is ways of getting and maintaining Chrono Crystals currently in the game. Um, other than that, there is other ways as well. If you go to, you to your exchange shop as of um, April, the last day of the month, and you go into this year, the Golden Showdown, just by playing PvP, they're giving you, well mine is done now, but they were giving you 500 Chrono Crystals here, just by collecting these gold medals. And you need about 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, about 200 gold medals to get 500 CC. And that you just need to play PvP and win. 
basically. And then on top of it, he has more Chrono Crystals here, which you can get through the Golden Plague or Golden Plaque cards they're giving. So you can get another 500 here. So that's another 1000 Chrono Crystals just by playing PvP. So once that's done, you can also get Chrono Crystals from the Episode Saga from the Margin Bull. So if you go to your mission plan, there is a mission that I have already completed. But if you have not, you should see it under Events. Um, it does fall under Margin Bull. Let me just see if it shows. Okay, currently mine is not showing, but it does come up as Margin Bull Saga. And it's another 200 Chrono Crystals for, for doing it. So that's another way. And on top of it, if you finish your co-op in total, there's 200 Chrono Crystals here as well, but you have to do co-op up to 65 times to get that 200 Chrono Crystals in total. So yeah, guys, that is ways. And then there's also this here. If you guys have not done the Knockdown Immortal Fujita missions, now is the best chance to do it. You have nine days, you just need to do friendship and a few other things. You get another 200, up to 500 Chrono Crystals, depending if you did those missions or not. So those are all the ways of you to get Chrono Crystals right now from those missions. And then if you go to your specials tab, I hope everyone knows this and they are not forgetting that there's actually Chrono Crystals there. But it's all dependent on your account as a person. So you can do the Zero Mortal Plan, you can do the Margin Bull Revival, or you can do Prevent uh, World Domination. Each of these actually gives you Chrono Crystals up to 300. But for you to do it, you have to have the characters at a certain level. For example, here, um, it says that you need to limit break go 10 or trunk sorry to four stars before you can do this and then if you do it you basically get 50 chrono crystals and each one has its own requirement obviously if you have a maxed out account you can do this better if you don't it's gonna be much more difficult for you to do but if you are able to do this there is cc over here as well so yeah guys those are all the methods you're looking at 300 over here 300 over here but this is all dependent on your account. So I will include it, but you need to check your account first. Then obviously, if you log in daily, you get 70 Chrono Crystals just by logging in. And then if you are able to get um, your friendship level of Super Saiyan 3 Goku to friendship rank 5, you can get another 10 Chrono Crystals here. And that is obviously 10 I'm going to count in as well. So this is just a savings account you can think of it like. Um, other than that, I'm just busy checking if there is anything I missed. Um, nothing here, nothing there. We are due another Battle Royale next week, Friday, so that is something I'm going to include if you check the news. So that'll be another 300 Chrono Crystals from the Battle Royale that is still coming. And then obviously, um, if you if you check here, there should be this new free-to-play bull. He will obviously give us Chrono Crystals, but I'm not sure how much, so we'll estimate it at 150 CC right now. Because there will be missions that gives you CC when you finish this and this will give you approximately 150. You can't get more than that to be honest. And so yeah guys, that's all the ways of getting Chrono Crystals right now in the game as of right now. Obviously um, PvP and Tournament of Power is time negated so you have to wait another 2-3 weeks. But it's definitely worth it at the end. So make sure you're playing your PvP as much as possible for the next 3 weeks so you can maintain a certain score. Um, as for the infinite methods, I do have another video on that that you can just go watch um, showing you how to get Chrono Crystals. It's part of my featured list and you'll be able to see. As for me summoning for Ultra Kid Boo, I am not going to summon unfortunately guys, so I will not be summoning for him. So forgive me if there's no showcase, but in the future I'm rather summoning for anniversary units because that'll be better for you to see. But I will have more um, videos upcoming that's going to show you tricks and tips and Units that you haven't seen in a while in PvP, um, units that you probably forgot about, and as well as future upcoming updates. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, please do subscribe, like, and follow if you enjoy this sort of content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Take care.